Winds that gusted over 50 miles per hour a good part of the day, and it's still pretty windy out there this evening. <laughs> uh, let's check live Doppler 13 radar. We'll show that snow that Ann pointed out in parts of Iowa. Still snowing there and some steady snow across parts of southeast Wisconsin into northern Michigan. Locally, we have a few spotty showers, and the local impacts from this powerful storm system were around an inch of rain, and these gusty winds, 50 plus miles per hour today. Big thank you to Candy in the southern part of Marion County for sending us this picture. That is a substantial sized tree that is down in her yard. We had trees and power lines down today. Lots of power outages. We warned you it was coming and those winds are still gusting near 50 miles per hour right now. A gust of 48 in Bloomington and in Kokomo. A gust of 46 miles per hour in Indianapolis. Still gusting to 45 in Shelbyville. These strong to severe winds will continue over the next couple of hours. Temperatures are dropping after a high of 60 degrees today. We're down to 43. Winds are sustained, so we're not even getting a break from the sustained winds at 36 miles per hour with those gusts still 40 to 50. And because of that, the National Weather Service continues that high wind warning and the wind advisory really for the entire state until 7 o'clock this evening. The good news, those winds are going to start to die down over the next few hours. Not a lot to show you on live Doppler 13 radar. That heavy rain from last night and early this morning is gone. But we still have some spotty showers. Lebanon to Zionsville, Brownsburg to Plainfield, Greencastle to Martinsville. And these are shifting off to the east. So get ready, Marion County. Some of that rain is moving our way. We also have some spotty showers just to the east of Muncie, eastern sections of Delaware County. As we transition to a colder weather pattern the next 24 hours, can't rule out a few flurries mixing with a few sprinkles, uh, especially late tonight in the early part of tomorrow. Future Track 13 confirms the clouds, a cloudy start on Friday. Again, a few sprinkles and flurries can't be ruled out early half of the day. Then we'll start to clear by this time tomorrow. We get into some sunshine. Temperatures close to 40 tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be close to 40 again on Saturday with some sunshine as we kick off the weekend, but a much colder start. Saturday morning, expect temperatures in the 20s. We'll be at 33 midday. Highs near 40 on Saturday. We will end the weekend near 50 with more sunshine on Sunday. So this little chill is really only going to stick around tomorrow and the start of the weekend. We're back into the upper 40s and 50s for a good part of next week. 40 with a few sprinkles and flurries early tomorrow. Then we cleared out. That sets us up for some sunshine. 40 Saturday near 50 Sunday. We're at 50 on Monday. Close to it Tuesday before rain chances return 55 to 60 Wednesday and Thursday next week. Oh my